Today I'm going to show you how to create custom desktop icons for Windows from images that, from your favorite video games. I'm using Stardew Valley today because it has a great online wiki. You can go to that wiki, and I'll include the link down below, and you can download any of the images that you want to use as icons. Let's say you want to use Fire Quartz, you just right click, save image as, and then you'll be able to open it in the Greenfish icon editor. Now this is my favorite. It is open source software, which means it's free. Anyone can download it and install it. So I'll include the link down below. But you go and download the Windows version for you, install it, and then we'll use it to create icons from the images we downloaded from the wiki. All right, let's get started. To create an icon in Greenfish Icon Editor Pro, we're going to open our file that we saved from the wiki. So file open. Let's go find the fire quartz. That's a ping file. So we're going to open that up. And now the first thing I do is edit crop transparent parts because it's not always the right size for an icon. We're going to make a new page and we're going to do a 48 by 48. Now, we're going to add a new size, a new page for every size that we need. So a 32 by 32, um, 64 by 64, and 16 by 16. Now we can get rid of the weird shape one from the beginning. All of our sizes are in the same icon file, so let's save it that way. File save as. We're going to go down here and pick save as type icon file, which is a .ico extension, fire quartz. It's in the right folder, so let's say save, and there you go. To create an icon from an image, like a screenshot from Google Images, you'll say file open, load the screenshot, zoom in, Um, let's do pyrite. So we're going to use the crop tool. That gets rid of everything else. Now we're going to use the fill bucket with a tolerance of five, contiguous turned off, transparency selected, and you're going to fill. And it gets rid of that color. Gets rid of that. Let's get rid of the shadow. Uh, now see we have a problem because we did contiguous. Let's hit control Z. Go back. Now when we did that color, let's check contiguous. So we only get rid of that color down here. Now that looks better. All right, now let's say edit, crop transparent parts. Now we're going to add a new page. We're going to make a 48 by 48. Add another page, 32 by 32. Add another. It's 64 by 64. And a 16 by 16. Now we get rid of this weird shaped one here. Now this is all right. So we're going to say File, Save As. We're going to choose an icon file, which is a .ico extension. And we're going to call it all right. There you go. Simple as that. 
I hope you enjoyed my online tutorial. Um, you can do this for any of your favorite games. I especially enjoy Stardew Valley, and the wiki makes it extremely easy to make custom icons, and they look great on your desktop. So I'll be including links to your software and links to the wiki so that you can do this for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.